Yo, hey guys, welcome back to the wonderful world of Yosh, where we are on the loading screen. I'm actually sure you guys already know what we're doing because you already read the title, but we are doing another texture pack review, and hopefully you guys are you guys know what texture pack this is because I play it on everything I do on this channel. With all my let's plays, everything I do Minecraft related is used in this texture pack, and a bunch of other YouTubers use it. That's where I learned it from, and now I want to share it with you guys in case you guys don't actually know what it is. But this is the faithful. The faithful 24 by no faithful 32 by 32 bit texture pack, as you guys can see right there. Why did I say 24? I do not know. But the 32 by 32 bit essentially means that there's 32 pixels in a block, like 32 pixels by 32 pixels. Normally there's 16 in default Minecraft, but this one has 32, so that's cool. And it makes it look a super HD if you ask me, super clear, super super amazing, and I love it. Now let's just jump into our texture pack showcase world and let me just show you guys around. Oh, and I don't know what I was doing last, but I'm just gonna do that. And boom, we're right back to the beginning. It, aren't commands awesome? I love commands. But as you guys can see now, we're on a super flat world and it's essentially just like really HD like textures. It looks nice if you ask me. Really HD and I love it. It looks amazing. But let's just get started. So I'm just gonna go down the line. I'm gonna show you some blocks that I think look cool, that look unique, and then I'm gonna fly through. You guys can see every block. But I'm just gonna showcase a couple of blocks that I think look cool. And one of my favorite blocks is indeed bedrock. I don't know why. I love how it looks in the texture pack. I mean, nothing in the texture pack is really mind blowing different from default Minecraft. It just really looks HD. It looks amazing if you ask me. And I do believe we missed it, but cobblestone I think looks actually pretty cool in this texture pack too. It's actually a usable block, because I don't like cobblestone in default Minecraft at all, but when you add the extra 16 pixels, I think they make it look pretty good. I like all the wood, especially the bedrock there. Now what other blocks do I really like in here? Really, it's all basically just HD. I like all the blocks, I like all the textures. It makes it look so much smoother. Smoother and better. <laughs> makes it look smoother and better in my opinion. I do like indeed um some of the stone bricks. I think I like I think look better. They look more HD. Essentially, this is just an HD texture pack. It doubles the amount of pixels in each block, man. It, that's gonna increase it. It's gonna make it look better. It's gonna make it look amazing. It's just, it's just gonna look extremely awesome. Now look at this tree. See, look at that tree. You don't get you don't get trees that look like that in default Minecraft. You get trees that look HD with the faithful 32-bit texture pack. Yeah, look at that, man. I highly recommend this texture pack. It is one of my favorites. I use it in every Minecraft thing I do ever. Because it, it's essentially default Minecraft, which I loved, but it makes it look extremely cleaner. It's cleaner, it's smoother, it's HD-er. It's just like, this is like 1080p, and then default Minecraft's like 480. I mean, you can deal with 480, but if you have 1080, you're going to use it because it looks amazing. And I do like the um, command blocks. I mean, again, they just look HD and amazing, amaze balls. And now, if we just jump push F1 here, you guys can see this is what your um, GUI looks like. It looks pretty cool. And we are, of course, in creative because this is a show showcase, and it just looks like normal GUI stuff, but but in HD, essentially, that's all it is. And look at you got some slime blocks over there. Those look pretty cool pretty cool indeed then you got your skin I guess your skin is gonna be the same no matter what texture pack you use so yeah but let's just jump out to the nether see what the nether looks like oh I'm getting some lag here because I don't believe I loaded this nether yet so that's not cool that's not cool but you got this you got this cool nether rack look at that I mean essentially it's really HD if you ask me I mean look at the lava and now some of these settings may be on a tad lower for my computer so if it doesn't look extremely amazing as you were expecting, it might be one of my settings because I don't have a super Maze Balls computer. I wish I did, but I do not. But whatever, this is what it looks like. The Nether looks pretty red. That's why I'm getting so much frame lag, <laughs> and that that's that may be why. It may be because I'm loading the Nether also. But look at that. You got some pigment over there. It's pretty good, pretty simple. I think it looks nice. It looks very nice. Got some glowstone up there. Some fire animations. Some lava animations. And let's just jump back through. Oh, we got a broken portal. Look at that. That's not cool. Oh well. And now, since we went through the nether, we might as well go through and jump in the end, which is um, not here. It's way over here. What? 
okay, I never had that happen to me before. I've done showcases like this where I go through the nether and come back out this one. Never had that happen. Maybe it's because I went in the other side. Who knows? Who knows? But let's jump in the nether. Or the end. This is the end. And the end essentially just looks HD, as you were expecting. Yeah, nothing really different about that. Just HD looking. Look at these things. Those things look pretty rad. Look at that. I, I can't middle click it. Look at that. Oh, where's the Ender Dragon? What are you doing? See, look how HD he looks. Oh, he's he's making noise. He's making noise, but you guys can see the end looks pretty looks pretty sweet, looks pretty rad. Let's just kill myself. Oh, I just died. Oh, well. But hey, look around. We're back at the beginning, and my skin's back. Oh, yeah. My skin is all its awesomeness. I just screenshotted that. Did not mean to do that. But my skin's back, and we're back here, and now I'm just going to literally fly through every single block here. This is every single block in the game. That's not 1.8 because this is not 1.8. I'm sorry, guys, but the 1.8 version of this texture pack is available. So yeah, it just makes it, it just makes them look cooler. Adds it twice as many pixels, makes it look better essentially. But the 1.8 version is out. I'm doing the 1.7.9 version. I'm sorry, I will be doing 1.8 stuff hopefully by December because in December my the server I play on updates to 1.8, so that's exciting. But let me just stop talking. Let me just fly through these, and you guys can have have some fun. <laughs> have some fun looking at blocks. Just F1 and let's go. And now after going all that, you guys know what every single block in the games look like, but you know what, just seeing every single block individually in the air is not enough to help you decide if you want this texture back. We've got a village over here to help you guys a little bit if you like the village, but now let's go check out some of my worlds and see if I got anything cool in there. Like, we can't go on the server right now because the server is indeed down for maintenance issues. We're having some issues with the server connection thing, but you know what, let's just jump into my test world and see what that thing looks like. Oh, I'm still in F1, but look at that, man. We got some buildings here. I think it looks pretty rad. I really like this extra pack. As, as you can see, it's just HD Minecraft. There's, if you like default Minecraft, there's really no reason not to get this one. It just looks like that much better. It looks twice as much better, and you still get the good frames. I'm getting 130 frames here, and my computer is built in, like, 2006. Guys, I use a GT 9500. I don't have a baller computer, and I still get 100 plus frames. This, this texture pack does not take your frames away. And it helps quite a bit. I, I like this texture pack. It's one of my favorites. I don't know really what to say about it. I've been using it for so long. There's nothing that really sticks out to me anymore. It just looks amazing. As you guys can see on this screen, the screen looks pretty cool. Um, what else could we go on? Let's just, just jump on to um, um, this one. <laughs> I don't play half of those servers, so I don't really know why I have them. But there's there. And the loading screen, it looks looks alright. And I'm going to lag out because this is Mineplex. But now this is what Mineplex looks like. Mm, that looks pretty cool, man. The texture pack just makes it look twice as better, if you ask me. Look at that. Look at that. That looks pretty rad. That tree looks pretty rad. But I just want to thank you guys for watching. This is, was, this was, this is indeed the Fateful 32-bit texture pack. And if you see any other texture packs on this side that you're curious about, I will be doing more videos on those. Soon to come some SPACs texture pack reviews, um, Redcraft, um, some other stuff over here. <laughs> but I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys do decide to get this texture pack, you will be not, you will be happy. You will not be disappointed. I love this texture pack. One of my favorites. I will probably always use it till I quit playing Minecraft, which will probably never happen until Minecraft gets old and boring and there's nobody left to play with. <laughs> but I love it. One of my favorite texture packs. And I just wanted to share this texture pack with you guys. And remember, it is Fateful 32-bit texture pack. All you have to do is take, type in 
Faithful 32x32 pack, and you will guarantee you find it. And be careful what you download on the internet, because some of it will give you viruses. Don't do that. That's not recommended. But I just want to thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time in the next texture pack review, the next Let's Play, the next tutorial. Whatever I do next that you guys end up watching, I will see you guys there.